Good morning from Dallas. I am now here. Joined Shelby if you guys missed our Dallas vlog part one. Not really ours. It was more all Shelby. Make sure you go watch that first. I joined her last night, as you'll see at the end of the video, and I am here to help her take care of Bailey and the, our parents' house while they are in France visiting our brother. So I got in late last night, and now, coffee. My coffee needs coffee. coffee check the rest of my day is going to be far less exciting i today's a wednesday so just gonna work nothing super exciting probably run to the grocery store um because i don't know that there's a lot of food here for me and i think i'm going to dinner with um a friend tonight so that's exciting looking forward to that later but for now work it is undescribably hot outside yeah i'm used to it now i like can't breathe it's so hot we're off to the store i need food this is not a belgian waffle nope we're just there this is not well that is what they look like well yes but not packaged <laughs> and it's not warm that's what i'm saying like from that little truck i go back to belgium right now just for that all right spent the rest of the afternoon just kind of working getting some stuff accomplished and now I'm about to head to dinner with a friend and we're gonna get some Tex-Mex and I'm super excited about that probably some queso um, mandatory a frozen margarita because it is literally 105 degrees outside and if that doesn't deserve a frozen margarita I don't know what does <laughs> Oh, it is so bloody hot. Oh my god, it is so hot out here. I'm gonna talk quickly because I have to turn the air off, or otherwise, it's all you're gonna hear in the car. It's 104 degrees outside right now, like ridiculous. Um, so I am actually headed to North Park now. I'm meeting my friend Bailey. I don't think you guys have ever seen her before. I'll ask her if she wants to be on camera or not. And now I see this battery's flashing, so that's great. I might have to film on my phone. Excellent. Um, I'm heading to North Park. We're just gonna catch up, girl talk. We're probably gonna talk about Harry Styles the whole time. Um, we're gonna go to Nordstrom. I have something I want to return, actually. I got my first um, order today. And there's one thing I didn't like, so I'm gonna return that. I'm gonna look at some more stuff, possibly buy more, um, show her around. We're just gonna catch up and have a good time. So I'm gonna take you along with us. Um, it's freaking hot. I'm so annoyed. Um, but that's what's happening. I'll catch up with you when we get there. All right, found Bailey. We've been sitting and talking for like ever. I bought more stuff at Nordstrom. Uh, we walked around the entire mall, entire mall, like three times, and now we've just been sitting and talking about our love for Harry Styles. Like I said that we would, and it's just amazing, and I'm getting her to move to New York because she's going to yes. in less than a year. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. So, you will be seeing more of her when she moves to New York. Yay! <laughs> All right, so I just left Bailey, which is really sad. We literally sat on this bench in the middle of North Park for like three and a half hours, just catching up, talking about literally everything, and it was great. I don't get to see her very often, so it was nice, but she's hopefully gonna move to New York um, in the next year, so that'll be really exciting. So now I'm just gonna go home because I am absolutely starving and Big Brother comes on tonight. So I'm excited to watch that and get some food. Hello! You haven't seen me today. I have been doing a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, we only filmed a few clips today. I did. Mostly I was just avoiding the heat because so effing hot outside today. 
it was bad. I just like it was bad. Wanted to stay inside in the um, central AC and <laughs> not do anything. I just worked. Pretty boring. Made dinner. Shelby went shopping. Did you? Is that what you showed? Um, sort of. Not oh. really. We went shopping for like 30 minutes and then we sat on a bench in the middle of North Park and just talked and <laughs> catched up for three and a half hours. Catched up. That's some, caught up. That's some good <laughs> English. Caught up. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're not going to talk about how much we've spent at Nordstrom, but anniversary sale. I'm now a almost level three card member. <laughs> There's only four levels. <laughs> Oops. And Look I'm at you. And I'm still, what? Like, oh, wait, this way. Hello. I'm looking rough. These chairs are comfortable, though. I've got my pizza. I have, like, a paleo crust and a vegan pesto and vegan cheese. Um, got a beer, which is weird. We never drink beer, <laughs> but I had one, too, today. I know. It's, I've had a few this week, but only... Battery died. It's because mom and dad have it, and it's hot outside. I know, that's too, it was like 100, it reached 108 today, yeah. broke like a 93 year old record. Anyway, we're about to watch Big Brother. Yay. Did you see our IGTV all about Big Brother? Go watch it. Good morning everyone. I am now, it's actually afternoon now, I am off to go get my hair cut. I'm just getting it trimmed and toned because it's already grown out so much. It's already grown like at least an inch and a half which is kind of annoying because I wanted it short. Um, so I'm off to do that and then I have to go to Whole Foods because Emily is coming over tonight. We're just gonna have a little girls night, wine and cheese. So I need to get some essentials for that. Let's see what Ashley's doing. She just took a shower. Are you dressed? She's not dressed. I mean, she's not naked. She's in a towel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm just saying, I'm not looking at her naked. Um, Alright, tell them goodbye. Bye! You'll see her later. <laughs> Bailey Grace is asleep down there. She's taking her afternoon nap. And I am now off into the 110 degree heat, which is super annoying. Let me open the ground. We've had like, oh, um, like record heat here in like, it's been like 93 years or something crazy. I don't know. I feel like Ashley said that to me. Oh, I need sunglasses. Oh, it's so hot. Hang on. I'm going to set you on the car. Hello. Um, okay. Sunglasses. This is bright. All right. Unlock the car. Yeah, it's freaking hot. So not used to this, like, heat at all, which is super, super annoying, but it's fine. And actually, we have to extend our trip here. <laughs> um, so we've had a lot of drama with the Nordstrom stuff. I'll talk you through it later because I do really have to go. But um, we've had a lot of drama, and we had sent all the stuff here, and it's not going to get here in enough time. So we have to extend our stay here, and we haven't told Alex yet. She's going to be really mad. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to go get my hair done. I'll catch up with you after it's done. All right, the hair's done. It's super cute. It just feels good to get a little trim on it. Oh, it just feels so light. She really, like, she kind of, like, I don't know the exact term. I don't know if she like razors it or something and just gets kind of like some of the thickness away because my hair is so thick guys you don't even know it's so thick so she always does that for me oh it just feels so good all right now i'm off to whole foods which is where you always always see me i'm here it's hot but i'm here <laughs> so i have been looking for a long time for these new flavors of the Siete chips. You guys know we talk about these like all the time. They released new flavors. Our Whole Foods hasn't had them. Um, Mom and I went to a different Whole Foods than I'm at now last week. They didn't have them. But they all like have the space for them. Like the little like tag and stuff is there for them. They're just out. So I, I walked by at this one today. They had one bag of ranch ones left and they had lots of these. So I bought two of this flavor. I bought one of the ranch. So let's try them. Let's go ranch first. Because I feel like the spicy one will like, be in my mouth longer. Well, I don't know. We'll go ranch first. Because that's what they open. Alright. They don't smell ranchy. Um. 
it's not like overwhelmingly ranch and they're obviously like vegan so it's not like I taste the nutritional yeast for sure they're good but if, if you want that like fake ranch taste that's not that both good all right let's go with this one I'm excited I've heard good things about this one What's even in this? Mmm. This one's where it's at for sure. Oh my god. Well, they do have a they do have a kick to them. And I like spicy stuff. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah. This is gonna be dangerous. Emily's coming over in like two hours, so. I can't eat all that. I just spent like a hundred bucks at Whole Foods on cheese, basically. So there's that. Hello, happy Friday. I am uh, helping my sister. <laughs> Not enough though, I'm getting yelled at. Set up this. You haven't helped me set up anything. You, gave, gave, me, me so you gave me one job and then I did it, but then Bailey got stuff on me and I had to go change, so. <laughs> Anyways, Emily's on her way over and we're just gonna chill, have a fun night. You excited? Yes, I'm excited to eat cheese. Um, yeah, you got a lot of cheese, mm -hmm. so. All right, here's the wine Shelby's opened. And we have cheese, cheese, kale chips, more cheese, crackers, crackers, cheese, cheese, strawberries. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's like a champagne cheddar spread. Got it. And cookies. I added my special contribution. Oh, she's here. Call me Bakery. Okay, Emily left. Don't mind my face, I just picked up some pimples. I'm gonna look this way. <laughs> Ugh, it's bad. Um, so Emily's gone, we had such a great time catching up. It's late now, it's like almost 11. Um, I'm about to take off my makeup and then I'm gonna do this bubble mask and I'm so excited. I My mom actually had a bubble mask for me here when I got here. I did it that first night and I completely forgot to film it but it was such a funny experience. I like, you like can't really move once you have it on and you kind of need to like lay still or otherwise like it kind of goes everywhere so this is like um it's a sheet mask but it bubbles on top so i'll film it once i have it on okay so i literally just put it on like 30 seconds ago and it's already doing this so i'll give you an update last time i did it it got like really really big see it's already bubbling like all the white is bubbles Okay, so I'll give you an update in a few minutes when it gets a little more. <laughs> okay, so this is what's happening now. It doesn't look as crazy as it feels. It Like, you can hear all the bubbles popping, so it feels kind of like Pop Rocks a little bit. This one didn't go as crazy as, like, that first one that I did. I don't know why it's not bubbling right there. You can see, like, all the crazy bubbles I'm kind of obsessed with it though. So I'm just gonna lay here for a couple more minutes and let it just do its thing. It says to keep it on for 10 minutes. Um, and then I'm just gonna read and go to bed. We're at Bath and Body Works, smelling fall candles. They have some of them out. This one smells really good. This is also a really good one. Aaron time, even though it is one million, million yes. degrees outside. It is so hot. I have never been more miserable. Okay, she's being a little dramatic. It's so hot. She's being a little dramatic. But like, like barely outside. But we don't have a though. pool. Like I need like water if I'm gonna yeah. deal with this. No. Anyways, we're just running a couple of we quick errands. We could buy errands. a paddling pool at Target. The thing is, is that it's too hot to even do that. To sit outside, yeah, I know. It's too hot. I don't know how these people live here. This I is mean, why we I did left. Live here. <laughs> it was not 110 degrees. Yeah. Though this is so crazy. Yeah. 
Anyways, errand time, and I'm gonna get some ice cream. And I don't wanna hear it, because it is so hot. And I might eat it all. Guess where we are. Okay. These are our finds so far. Shelby's been doing these bubble masks. <laughs> so, I need to try them. I'm excited about this coffee one. We're in the school supplies. I don't know why. Cause, you know, you just really need to observe the new school trends. Plus, I'm a sucker for a new pin. Like a so new journal. So far removed from school. Like, so far. <laughs> That's okay. We're old. <laughs> well, yes, but <laughs> I still like looking at school supplies. Is that weird? Oh, I love these. What? We have them. We actually do have these at home. <laughs> she she made us buy them one time. These are the best. Have we ever used them? Nope. Yeah. No. Glitter glue? I love glitter glue. I love all of these things. All right, this is the only reason I came here. Hold this, please. <laughs> um, this. But then we need this one, whatever the heck that is. That's happening. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we did something kind of funny and kind of stupid. So we were walking through Target and we saw all of the Lunchables and so we were reminiscing on how we used to eat these when we were little and it's probably been like, I don't know, 17, 18 years since I've actually had a Lunchable and we were hungry and so we were like, let's just get one and just like see what it's like. So we both got extra cheesy pizza ones and I'm starving because I didn't eat lunch so we're gonna make our Lunchables and we're gonna eat them and I'm super super excited. Can we have a beer with our Lunchables? A beer with our Lunchables? Because <laughs> I just kind of find that hilarious and I kind of want one because it's so effing hot outside. Yeah, will you grab the Newcastle one for me? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> As a kid, I never thought I would be sitting here as an almost 26 year old adult drinking a beer and eating a Lunchable, so. Dreams do come true! I need like a knife or something. How did we do this? Did you use your finger? Mm hmm Or the... There is no like spatula thing. There, I feel like there used to be a little spatula. No? There's three? I thought there were two. I know. I told you, there's not enough cheese for this. This is actually really exciting, I do have to say. Oh, the sauce. I know, I actually really like this sauce, I'm not gonna lie, but it's probably ragu. Maybe there is enough cheese. They are pretty small. <laughs> There's two different kinds of cheese, too. It's fancy pizza! <laughs> this is not gonna sit well on my stomach. I'm just saying that now. <laughs> hey, it was only a dollar. It was. I'm making a mess. I was waiting for you to do that. That was your signature mm -hmm. Lunchable Pizza move. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All those memories. The taste hasn't changed. No. We should have got the nachos too. We should have gotten one pizza, one nachos. Hello and welcome to our Saturday night ice cream and wine and going through old closet um, try on video thing. <laughs> She wouldn't let me have a dinner. She said I have to have ice cream and wine first. It's 9.19 at night. I know, but all I've had today is pizza lunchable, a little bit of popcorn and avocado toast. I need to have a little something nutritious. I wanna try that one. Okay, so here's the deal. Hang on, I need some wine. Since we are at our parents' house, our mom has asked, me specifically. I already did it. That's to, why. we have a lot of like old clothes and stuff stored here, old prom dresses, that sort of thing. Yeah, and, it's just all of our dresses from like all of our high school. Well, dresses. and like I majored in fashion design in oh, yeah. in school, and all of my designs and stuff that I made are here. And so she's asked me to go through and see what I want to keep, what she can get rid of, because she really just wants some more closet base. So for what I don't know. 
I don't know why, <laughs> but she wants more closet space. So I thought it would be fun for Shelbs and I to drink wine and eat ice cream and go through this stuff and we'll show you guys what we got. Okay, so here's the closet. Some of this stuff is Shelby, some of it is mine, some of it is our brother's. There's just a whole lot of stuff in this closet. So, let's pull some of it out. This is a coat I made. It's like silk with like the detailed collar. Shelby's pulling out an old dress, but it's like... I can hit it on. I don't even know what size it is. Probably really small. <laughs> Guys, look at Princess Shelby. I called this my Princess Belle dress. I don't know why because it's not even yellow. So it does not zip up all the way. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's like it's just like one size too small. Yeah, it just it won't go <sighs> up in the back. Well, that only makes me feel good that I'm only one size bigger than like it was. I wore this senior year to our winter dance. It's called Regalia. And I, I helped her, I had to help her pee in that because she had to pee she after did. she already got like dressed. Dress, so we were in a really small bathroom <laughs> and like that's a lot of dress to have to hold yeah. up so she could pee. <laughs> this was one of my like favorite dresses. I just felt so like princessy in it. I loved it. Alright, here's the prom dress. It does fit, guys. It fits. It makes me feel so good about myself. But I loved it. Um, I love the like zipper detail and actually... What was super annoying, so like I'm like short now, but back in the day, like I used to be one of the tallest people like in my school. So all my dates were like not very much taller than me. Prom was the first time he's like six foot. And so the one time that like I could wear like really high heels, I have this dress that just touched the floor. So I couldn't wear a heel. So I wore flats to prom and I was so annoyed because it was like the one time that I could really wear heels, but it worked out. I loved this dress. It actually doesn't look that bad on me, does it? Mm -mm. So these are all things that I made in college, as I said, and maybe some fashion design. So these are all, some of these are things I made like earlier, but then some of these are part of my like senior collection. So these are all things that I designed and I sewed, but I didn't make them to fit me. We had to fit them to like our models. So even back in the day. You could have worn I those. much smaller. No, you definitely. Maybe. But that they, year, you definitely could have worn them. They weren't tailored for me. So, let's see. I had, so this is part of my senior collection. This is just like a little jacket. I really love these buttons. <laughs> um, and then I made this skirt. Oh, the hammer broke. Which is like no. a little pencil skirt. Oh, I love the fabric. Everyone just remember this was 2008. Yes. <laughs> Ten years ago. <laughs> when you look at the fashion. <laughs> this is just like a black pea coat, or it's not really a pea coat, but. I can't believe you made a coat. That seems really hard. Um, it was. <laughs> the hardest thing I made is, was a suit jacket. It's not in this stack, it's probably mm. in the other one. I made these pants. Hmm. These are back in style now. Mm. Like. It's like if you're in Newsies. <laughs> Oh, this is my swimsuit I made. Mm, we little, should bring that to Mexico. Top and little boy shorts, and this was my cover up. Oh, I love this dress. It is really cute, actually. I think this is one of my favorite things that I. That would have been a cute dress for homecoming. Made. Fun story about this is when. Oh, this is the best part. See oh, fun! With the leopard. That's it's like cute. A bubbles, bubble hem. So like you get little peaks of it. Yeah, anyway, that's cute. Um. Fun story about this is the night before the fashion show, we did a run through, and the model that was wearing this was just a little too big. Um, and did zipper, it fall off? The oh, and the zipper, zipper broke. broke. And so, in order for it to be in the fashion show the following day, I had to repair the zipper. Didn't Grand Grand do it? So, I called her <laughs> grandmother in tears <laughs> saying, I have no idea how I can fix this in one night. Because that is not an easy thing to fix, by the way. And she's a good sewer. And so she said, just bring it to me and I'll do it. And she <laughs> stayed up all night doing it. <laughs> and I will forever be grateful for <laughs> this. This one reminds me of the other dress. We'll have to show them that Ashley wore to prom and then I wore it to one of our dances too. This is like, did you mirror this off of that? No. Because um, it, it's like very similar. It is similar. This is the They're like cousins, I would say. This is another say. one that... Uh, our grandma helped me 
do all the tuck pleats for uh -huh. the skirt, which was a nightmare to do. This is so much fabric. You guys have no idea. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got my Letterman jacket on. What are you putting on? Oh poodle skirt. my gosh. <laughs> poodle skirts. So I had, so, okay, hang on. I'll get back to the Letterman jacket. The poodle skirts. This one was Ashley's the purple. Did Granga make these? Mm -hmm. This one was mom's and then I had a hot pink one and mom and I found these um, I like a few, a few months ago and we have no idea what happened to mine. Like she has no idea where it is but I was like five when we wore these so like that definitely wouldn't fit me. <laughs> oh my god what is happening? <laughs> oh my so gosh. So Greg I made these for one of my birthday parties. <laughs> I had a birthday party at a local diner that was 50s themed. Oh, it was so much fun. So we encouraged everybody to wear poodle skirts. <laughs> and this one was so mom, Yeah, mom had the black. But I'm not this small. Yeah. Um, and then mine was hot pink. Yeah. I, this was like my 10th birthday or something, so I uh -huh. can't fit into that. But that was mine, this was mom. Back to my Letterman jacket. This is it. Went to Name Force High School. What is it? These are my academics. I was a nerd. I was like a cool nerd though. <laughs> like I'm just, I'm just like smart. Um, so that's my <laughs> academic. <laughs> but not humble. <laughs> um, graduated in 2011. I was bit, um, I was in like our choirs, like senior year. I had like four choir periods. I have way more patches than you. I'm sorry. Well, cause you did. I'll pull mine out in a Yeah, second. cause, yeah. Well, because I didn't do any sports. Well, I did drill team one year. And then I quit that. Um. So that's that. What are these? Oh, this is from dance. I put like my things on there. But yeah, I all my activities that I did besides choir was all like not in school. I think that's oh, is that NHS? I don't know. I so I don't know. I was in National Honor Society, I was in National French Honor Society. Yeah. But I I actually didn't wear this very often. But I like it. Okay, but then I also need to put these on. So I made this senior year for homecoming. Okay. Hang on, we need to talk about this. We need to pull out the moms. They're under my bed. Okay, so if you're not from Texas, you don't know like what we go through for homecoming. Oh, I just didn't <laughs> homecoming is crazy. On the it's you have like a theme day like every week, and then on Friday it's like spirit day, and then you have these humongous moms that are all decorated. We'll have to pull them out. And so senior year, I made these overalls, or mom and I did. And they were so freaking cute, and I'm obsessed. Rachel saw them, and she was like, she asked mom if mom could make her some for her for this year. But I loved these things. Emily and I um, made, like, matching ones, and, like, everyone was so jealous, and they loved them, and they couldn't believe that, like, we, like, went all out and did this. Okay, so this was my senior year, mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which, like, went all out. Okay, wait, I gotta get close. Up. Yeah. Oh wait, that's us. Yeah, I had a whole sister's thing. Oh, this is a whole thing of yeah. us. And then one of all of Oh, here's Shelby. baby Shelby. <laughs> and then with Kesley and Emily. Aw. Mm-hmm. This thing was so heavy, I can't even tell you. I had to wear this like big sports bra and we, this one actually had a thing around your neck, but I still had to pin it. And what like, once- Wait, stand up with it. I don't think people on, realize like how- Okay, let me put it on. Once you like have it on, it's like so hard to take off and it's so heavy. Like look, like it's, it's longer than I am. Um, and so like you had to pin it on like before you left but like you have to drive like with this on pretty much So that's like crazy because you have to like I think I like got in the car and like put it to like the side But like it's still I mean thankfully our school isn't very far from our house But I think I drove to the game with it. So like at, at our school there's rules like different years are different colors So like yeah. your senior year you were white and silver mm -hmm. and was this your sophomore year? This was or junior year um if I'm remembering correctly, freshman year you did the orange because our our yeah. school colors were green, white, and orange. Let's see what year was this. 
Oh, nine. So this was this was sophomore year. Yeah, this was sophomore year, which I actually loved this because of my little bear here. So I was in the Renaissance Choir, and we wore um, like outfits like this. This is the same exact fabric. It's in the closet. No, it's not. That's Ethan's. We sold oh. mine. Oh. Yeah. Um, this is the same exact fabric of mine, and so we had it made, I think mom actually, maybe she made it, of like my same little dress. So yeah, this was sophomore year. So it's not as elaborate as you can tell. I think the other two are in a different box on the other side. Yeah. Maybe I should, should I pull them out? No, I think they get the yeah. idea, but they, yeah, so like each year was different. <laughs> this was my drill team. I was, um, an officer on drill team. That's not as cool as mine. No, it's not. Um for JV and then I quit. But this is my uh, oh. <laughs> I can't really like do it anymore. Oh gosh. This was middle school. Go Gators. But that like wasn't even the school team. No, it was like a select team. I wonder where my cheer uniforms are. I don't know. Huh. I need to try and find those. That is so funny. Old school. This is my JV drill team uniform. Yeah, like where's my stuff? In there. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. I need to pull this it all out. This is my JV drill team uniform. So we had to pay for our uniforms for JV. Varsity, we didn't get to, like we didn't pay for them, so we yeah. didn't get to keep them. But this. Mine's was... probably like identical to this. Look I can't remember. Oh, this was my this freshman year of high school. So it was like this little skirt. Look at these bloomers. Oh my god. Ew. Did we really have to wear those? I don't yeah. remember that. I blocked out that entire year. So we didn't even use a bodysuit. See, this is a <gasps> shirt. Are you serious? And this like overlay, which is reversible. Wait, I so need to find mine. Oh, well, that's not, the officer I was an one, officer. yeah. So, yeah. This is my Letterman jacket. So like my so she had yeah, so she has the drill team Letterman jacket. Mine's just like the normal one. So what is, oh you have the academic ones too. Well yeah, because I'm smart, but I also <laughs> did. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> so that's her JV drill team, baby star. Oh, that's cute. What's she I don't up know to? What they are. It's Katie Penninger. Oh, yeah. That was, she's my big sis. What is that? Um, oh this is because we did a oh, dance that thing with, with Garland yeah. High School. Yeah, kit company. Let's see what's on the back. We have silhouettes. These are all like little things like inside of so, drill team. Not little Select dance groups that I was in. Okay, sure. Not little That's things. their like squad name. She was top five star of the month. Oh my god, Dunn's Donuts. That was your thing. That was your squad name. Senior lieutenant. Let's see. HD, that's the camp they went to. So that's more of that. Yeah, these are all HD. Oh, and you went to Disney World. Yeah, cute. So what's this? Dance costumes? Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just going to keep this on because it's actually really comfortable. Okay. I'm seeing some of these and I have no idea what some of them are from. I know what this one is from. This was a jazz dance that we did. Like, can you believe I fit into this? It's totally ripped. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so this was a dance that we did to a song called Beautiful People. And it was like a half and half thing. So this is like we were kind of like not dead. But then this was like girly. It was kind of different. And so... We like all had the same thing and like for the beginning half of the dance like each of us was one side and we did the dance like to the side so like the audience could only see like one of the colors like on each thing. It was really cool and then we all came together like halfway through so that was super fun. Um, I want to say this was my first ever solo dance I think. Mm, maybe. I want to say that's what that was. I have absolutely no idea what this is from. Is it dirty or it's supposed to be dirty? I don't know. It's probably dirty. Also have no idea what the heck this is. Why? Yeah, that was like a this? lyric. Uh, I forget what song it was. I remember that costume though. Why? Okay, guys. Why I don't remember this stuff is we did competitive dance. And every year I had, give or take, probably about 10-ish routines that I did for the year in like all competitions. And that was like a new set every single year so that's why like I yeah so imagine 10 like, 10 different costumes for like 16 years yeah so that's why like i have no idea like what that would have been from <laughs> there's no way i'm gonna fit in this i'm not even gonna try and embarrass myself because look at how little i never liked this one 
Okay, remember this was, this would have been like 2002. <laughs> so, I mean, this was actually really fashionable. Cool I love the color of this and I liked that this part was beaded but that was it. And the rest yeah. Cool. What is that one? This one I never actually wore to a dance. Really? Um, and it's like, it's not this skinny. Like, Who'd you wear it for? It's really, really heavy so that's why it's. Um, I got it to wear to a dance, but this was the dance where um, the boy asked me and then reneged and <gasps> I already bought a dress. Oh my god, I had no idea that happened. Are you serious? You well, you did at the time, but you probably don't remember because you were really Wait, little. who was this? Hang on. <laughs> no, I won't include it. Who was He's this? married now. It's fine. Oh I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm not better about it. I, oh my god, but I had I no idea. Was, you were little. You were, <gasps> it was like sophomore year, I think. Oh my god. Freshman year. And mom didn't make you wear it to another one? Like she let you buy another one? She, she did. Because I think she felt really sorry for me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Was, hey guys. It was, now this dress. This was my prom dress. This is like one of my favorite dresses. Dress so much. So I, so she wore it to prom, and then I loved it so much. I wore it to my junior regalia. This is actually the one where he didn't have shoes. He had shoes. This was the dress I was wearing. <laughs> I love this dress. I did too. Thanks for coming down memory lane with us. Now we have to so clean this oh giant pile of stuff. I've up. been putting my stuff away. That's all her crap. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Hope that wasn't boring for you guys, but we had fun. No, I'm sure that, no, I, like, I would love to see, like, into people's lives like that, like, how they were, like, before, and, like. We'd love to know, do you guys still have your prom dress? Oh, my God. And what did it look like? Good morning. It is, today Sunday. Sunday. Is our, it? Yes. Our parents get back today. They're currently in the air. Saturday. They, they land in a little bit. Um, I've been up a long time. Shelby hasn't been up that long. No, because I was up till almost 2 30. Why? Because I'm a night owl. Well, I've been having to get up early with Bailey. Yeah, and I did last week, so now I'm like back to my normal. Routine. She woke me up at 4 a.m., then I finally got up for good at like 6 45. Anyway, I talked to mom and dad while they were there for it. Got it. <laughs> We are off on a donut mission. We've talked about this before, but I love, it's one of my favorite things ever, like the donuts from like the little places here that we don't have in New York. They just have fancy donuts in New York. But I love the good hole in the wall donut places. And last night I decided I was going to go have them this morning. So that's what we're doing. So she came downstairs and said, we're gonna go get donuts, come on. And I was like, all right, I just made <laughs> um, I coffee, so I brought it with me. I haven't had coffee yet. And we are off on a donut hunt. So excited. Ta-da! Ta oh my gosh, he put them like yeah. in the thing. <laughs> he gave us extra donut holes. Oh my gosh. And then these are sprinkled down the nose. Thank you. Donut cheers. All right, we are headed to the airport now to pick up mom and dad. Ashley's driving for once now. <laughs> well, really because we decided to take mom's car because it's bigger because we didn't want to be squashed in the back of dad's um, when we picked them up. And I've only driven her car a couple times. I'm not as comfortable with it, so. This is the second time I've ever driven this car. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> I've only driven it twice too, so. <laughs> so it was kind of a toss up. <laughs> Who gets to drive? Um, and I've been driving all week, so I've been telling her that she had to drive to the airport. Even though if we were taking dad's car, I probably would have driven just because I really enjoy driving. That's besides the point. We're headed to the airport to pick them up. Can't wait to hear about the whole trip. We talk to them almost every day, but it'll be fun to like actually be able to really talk to them about the trip. Um, Dad texted me earlier and said he wants something other than foie gras and oysters to eat, and he, I think he suggested pizza, which, healthy choice great dad thanks um, so I think we're probably having pizza for dinner and then we have to try and keep them awake as long as possible so they don't have really bad jet lag there they are <laughs> look at them <laughs> dad's carrying the Louis bag oh my goodness <laughs> hello parents hi 
Hello, doctors. <laughs> Hello. She got her new bag. She copied me, but she's so cute. No, it's different on the inside. <laughs> different on the inside. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> all right, we're back at home. They're showing us all their pictures. Did you guys have a great time? Yes. yes. <laughs> they brought us snacks. Mm -hmm. We've had some macarons. Um, Dad's already fallen asleep. Yeah, these are good. It's like peanuts, like wrapped in something, and they have flavor. I don't know. Like a crispy shell, but they're good. They're good. So yep, yeah, we're just—they're just telling us all about their trip. Yeah.